This is the latest update on the $2,000 fourth stimulus check. And yes, it would include those of you receiving Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, Low Income, and No Income. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so and because the more people we have here in this community, the greater the impact and influence that we have going forward, especially when we call on some of these initiatives like a fourth stimulus check, monthly recurring payments, universal basic income, and or raising Social Security, SSDI, SSI, and VA benefits. With that being said, let's get into it. So I've had a number of people reaching out to me over the last couple days here saying, hey, you haven't had any stimulus updates in a couple days now. Does that mean it is done and over with? No, <laughs> no, not at all. In fact, I bring you the latest information based on what is being released at that time, what is being talked about, and what I am finding throughout all of my research. So no, just because I haven't had stimulus videos for like a couple days does not mean that they are over with. In fact, the fourth stimulus check is very much alive and well during this time. So I wanted to bring you this latest update and let you know exactly where we stand with stimulus check number four. Now here's the deal. All of us know, because we've talked about this a few times now, the first portion of the package, this uh, bipartisan package, right? We've talked about it. Now that this thing is pretty much hammered out, it's agreed upon, we have a deal, it is not passed yet, but now that that thing's pretty much done, we can start focusing on the American Families Plan, which is the one where we expect the fourth stimulus check to make its appearance. Now, we're probably going to be seeing a lot of the elements of this package showing up over the coming days here as we want all of the information for this next package on the table so that everybody in Congress can start to look at it and say, okay, let's kind of weed through all of these different proposals, all of the different requests from all of the different lawmakers out there and figure out what they actually want to include. Now, if it was up to Bernie Sanders, <laughs> you'd probably include a lot simply because he is allocating $6 trillion for this next package. So <laughs> that's going to include a lot of different proposals and a lot of different spending, right? $6 trillion. That's a ton of money. And you could probably put just about anything you could ever want and desire into the package with $6 trillion of spending. So we should be seeing all of these proposals hitting the table here as the American Families Plan is the next one in focus. And that is the one that is going to be big and bold, which we've heard about before. We want big and bold action, right? Well, that's what's on the table. And we expect that fourth stimulus check to make his official appearance at some time very closely here coming up. So it should be pretty exciting. I'm watching everything very, very closely right now to see when we actually start to get more talk and a, um, more talk and discussion about a fourth stimulus check. However, right now, as we talked about the other day, right now, most of everything that most of the headlines out there, most everything that's being talked about is this child tax credit, simply because those payments are starting to go out in two weeks from now. So of course, between now and then, there's probably still going to be a lot of talk about that. Once those first payments go out, of course, there's going to be a big rah, rah, look at us. We sent out a bunch of payments. Congratulations to everybody. And then after that, it should be kind of calmed down after that. But at that point, Congress and the Senate will be back in session at that point, and they should be getting something done by then. So even though that's a couple weeks from now, they'll already have a, a week under their belt back in session, and they should be getting a lot done during that time. Now, during this time right now, there's a lot of people out there saying, we don't need more stimulus. Everything's good. The economy's doing fine. You know, there's not going to be any more stimulus packages. Everything is going just fine. We don't need any more support. Yes and no. Yes, on one hand, you're right. The economy, on paper anyway, from what they tell us, is doing well in some sectors. Depends on what you look at, though. Some sectors and some um, categories of people out there, some segments of the population, are not doing well at all. It is being shown to us uh, time and time again that some people, some segments of our population, are actually really, really struggling during this time, which is why we continue to come back and say, hey, give us a fourth stimulus check, but really make it focused on the people who actually need it, the lowest income individuals out there right now, right? We've talked about that before as well, where we're just saying, hey, 
You know, a fourth stimulus check is very much needed, but probably not as broad as what the last three stimulus checks were, right? Encompassing like 170 million people. Yeah, I mean, that's unnecessary right now. It doesn't need to include all of those higher income people, right? It should really be focused on the lower income people. And yes, of course, those of you receiving all of the benefits that I mentioned earlier, like Social Security, Retirement Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, uh, low income, no income, you know, the, basically everybody that I continue to talk about in all of my videos. Here's what's also interesting about this. They have a really, really good way of milking out the clock, like running down the clock. Have you ever noticed this? It takes them a very, very long time between approval and distribution of these payments, right? I mean, look at between stimulus check number one and stimulus check number two. That was like eight months, right? The difference between stimulus check number two and number three was actually shorter. It was only about three months. Well, actually it wasn't even that. It was about two and a half months from the time it was approved until the time it was actually distributed. Or what I should say is not approved necessarily, but more like first mentioned. The reason stimulus check number three came out so quickly is because it was put on the table and it was kind of like pressured, like, hey, you guys need to get this thing out like as soon as possible. Remember all that drama that went down? So here's the difference though. Right now, believe it or not, there are still people who are waiting for their $1,400 stimulus check. Yes, there are many of you down in the comments section who continue to write to me every day and say, uh, I still haven't received the third one yet. So yes, the IRS continues to distribute these third $1,400 stimulus checks right now. Yes, they continue to go out on a weekly basis. So here's the thing. And along with them sending out these fourth or the, the third stimulus checks, the $1,400, along with the child tax credit going on right now, maybe they're just looking at it saying, hey, we can milk this thing out for like another two weeks and not have you know a, a, much of a decision or much of a an update or things like that on the on the fourth stimulus check, and then after that they'll be like, uh oh, we've ran out of time. We've distributed all the money. The the child tax credit is being sent out. At what point do we or what do we do now, right? So then they might come back to this and just say, okay. It's time to actually release and talk about the fourth stimulus check now that they've kind of accounted for everybody. You know what I mean? So they're very good at working incredibly slow if you haven't noticed already. They love to run out the clock until they go on their next vacation and be like, oh, <laughs> see you guys, we're on vacation again. So anyway, I wanna let you know that yes, the fourth stimulus check is very much alive and well at this time. Now here's another thing. Like I said a minute ago, a lot of people are saying, we don't need more stimulus. Now I wanna give you just a quick example. This is not the United States, but I wanna tell you something else that's going on in a different country around the world. In fact, Malaysia. You've probably heard of Malaysia, right? Malaysia just passed a $36 billion stimulus package. And in that stimulus package of the $36 billion, they've allocated $10 billion to send out in the form of, yes, you called it, direct payments, otherwise known as stimulus checks to the residents of Malaysia. Yes, so even right here, right now, there's a stimulus package that was just passed with stimulus checks included in it. Here's what's interesting about their stimulus package. So, the last package that we passed, it was $1.9 trillion. About $400 billion of that was allocated for stimulus checks. So let's just say roughly one-fifth of the price tag of the package was allocated for stimulus checks. Here's what's interesting about the package out of Malaysia. $36 billion, $10 billion of which is in the form of stimulus checks. So nearly one third of the package is allocated for direct payments to the people. In other words, their stimulus checks are far more generous than the ones that we had <laughs> on a percentage basis. You know what I mean? One third of the package. To put that into perspective, if our last stimulus package, the 1.9, had one third of the payments allocated in the form of stimulus checks, that would have been a little over $600 billion, about $633 billion would have been allocated for stimulus checks. If we calculated that all out, it would have been probably about a $2,000 stimulus check. Yeah, so if you look at it that way, it's like, oh wow, their package is actually really, really generous. So there's actually a lot going on around the world right now. In fact, Europe passed a uh, stimulus package like a month, month and a half ago, something like that. Um, I don't remember how long ago it was. It was not that long ago. They passed another stimulus package over in Europe as well. So yeah, there's still a lot of stimulus going on out there. So for people that say like, oh, the stimulus is over. 
yeah, you're right. In some respects, stimulus probably isn't needed as widespread as it was back in 2020 and earlier in 2021. However, there's still very much need for further stimulus checks and, of course, raising benefits, universal basic income, and or monthly recurring payments, which is some of the other things that we continue to push for here on the channel in these videos, is pushing for all of this. Give us a one-time fourth stimulus check and do something along the lines of UBI, monthly payments, or raising benefits for all of these beneficiaries, right? No matter how they do it, I feel like any of those would suffice many of us here in this community, right? No matter how they cut the cake, we'll take a piece, right? <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, for those of you who have then been uh, concerned reaching out to me saying, hey, you haven't given us any stimulus updates lately. What's going on? Are you giving us indication? No, that's not it at all. It's just basically the information that I was finding at the time, whatever was being released and or whatever I was finding at the moment, that's what I happen to talk about. So yes, I know that my last few videos were mostly about social security, things like that, but that's just what I was finding. So yes, the stimulus checks are very much alive and well. And just, can you imagine when they are officially announced by whoever that happens to be? Honestly, I think it's gonna be Bernie Sanders. I really do think it's gonna be Bernie Sanders is gonna be the official guy who comes out and announces stimulus check number four. The reason being, we know Bernie, right? We've been talking about Bernie a lot lately. Bernie is out there and he's the guy that makes noise. We've talked about this so many times. You got to make noise. You need to squeak, you need to get attention, right? We've talked about that a lot. And what we continue to do right here on the channel and with these videos is make noise, get attention, get people to look at us and raise more awareness about the need for a fourth stimulus check, monthly recurring payments and raising all of these benefits. Well, Bernie Sanders is like a pro at getting attention, right? So I would imagine Bernie, one day, he's gonna come out and he's gonna hammer down in some kind of short video, maybe on Twitter or maybe in some kind of uh, interview or something like that. I just anticipate Bernie is probably gonna be the guy who brings it up. And once Bernie brings it up, you better believe it's probably happening then, right? Yeah, Bernie usually gets his way whenever he brings something up. Whether you like him or you don't, you have to recognize he probably does work in the best interest of the people most of the time, right? Everybody has their own opinions on people. Everybody has their own opinion on me. That's totally fine. But here's the thing. I'm here working on your behalf, doing whatever I possibly can to get attention and to raise awareness so that everybody recognizes, hey, there's still a bunch of people out there, millions upon millions of people who are struggling during this time and which is most frustrating, that are being left out on the um, the child tax credit payments, right? We don't need to go down that road today, but uh, you guys know how I feel on that situation, right? It is just completely 100% unfair to all of you who are not eligible. Maybe you don't have kids. Maybe your kids are grown and outside of the age parameters. Yeah, I just feel like it is so completely 100% unfair for everybody else who actually really needs the additional support right now, right? Basically everybody in this community. But anyway, wanted to give you a quick update. Just talk about the fourth stimulus check. Go on a rant and rave here in this video and let you know that yes, it is still very much alive and well. There are still very many people out there right now supporting a fourth stimulus check like all the people across the house in the Senate, the House Ways and Means, the Economic Securities Project. Yes, there are a lot of people. In fact, that petition, really quickly, um, that petition that we've talked about many times now, yeah, it's approaching its goal of 3 million signatures pretty rapidly. So it's pretty nice. I'm excited to see what actually happens when it hits 3 million signatures, which it's probably not that far off, honestly, maybe a couple more months until it probably hits it. Um, when it does though, I'm excited to see what happens. Will the administration actually make a statement and respond to that, uh, to that, to that petition? I don't know. If they do, it'll be interesting to see what actually happens. But between now and then, does somebody like Bernie Sanders or maybe one of the progressives in the House, like Pramila Jayapal or Ilhan Omar or uh, um, Elizabeth Warren, I mean, any of these people could come out and just out of nowhere, throw out a softball saying, hey, fourth stimulus check, we need it. Once it's announced like that, it's gonna be game on for everybody to get behind that train, right? So yeah, it's getting, it's getting pretty exciting as we're getting down to kind of realistically the last few days here when something like that's probably gonna be announced. So either way, I will keep you posted. Thanks everybody, I truly appreciate you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video, provided you enjoy these random rants like this one. But yeah, I just wanted to give you this quick update. But yes, 
I will be back later with more information, um, some more. Uh, actually, I have some pretty interesting information that I want to share with you later today once again. But thank you so much for watching. Go back and check out some other videos right here on the channel as we have 1,200 plus videos for you to enjoy. And of course, share them with your friends, family, and social media. Hey, you're awesome. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you again.